Um, so today we're going to make a or paint a leaf using um, some of this glow-in-the-dark pigment. Got some various colours here, and we'll try them out. Uh, these are samples which I ordered off the internet, and I think the company was Alpha Industries. So um, we're not only just paint the leaf with the glow in the dark colours, we'll have a go at different objects too. I've got this skull cast here also. So um, I've undercoated these with a couple of washes of watered down acrylic, kind of like a sort of brown, dark brownish colour. Uh, so first off we'll take one of these uh, glow in the dark sachets I'll use this one here. So there's 10 grams of the pigment in this bag. If I switch the light off, you might see that glow. So there it is. We're not showing up too special on the camera. It's still a little bit light here. So we'll. Um, Open up this sachet, but first of all, we'll make up our paint adhesive. And what I'm going to use here is um, some PVA glue mixed with some water, and we'll add the pigment too. I'll do it kind of 50 50, and we'll see how that turns out. So there goes the glue. So this is going to act as our paint. I'm going to put a drop of water in there just to make it a little bit more fluid. And I'll mix the water with the paint. Paint, sorry, the glue to make the paint. So kind of got a nice, nice fluid consistency there. And now I'm going to add the full 10 grams of the glow powder or pigment into the pot with it. And we'll mix that up too. Give it a good mix. This glue will probably glow in the dark too. I know, oh, just a little bit. Right, so now we'll apply the paint into the crevices of the leaf. Because I want these veins to glow. Might need a couple of coats, we'll see. So we'll let that dry for a bit. I might need to put another coat of the fluorescent paint or the glow in the dark paint over the top. And we'll come back and have a look. So in the meantime, I'll paint up this uh, skull too and we'll see how that turns out. I think the fluorescent paint or the glow in the dark paint will be suited to a skull for Halloween. Right, I'll just put a uh, another layer over the top and just touch touch the leaf up in places pretty much just do the same as what we did before really just to give it a little bit of a glow around the leaf I've just got a cloth and made it damp so I can wipe a little bit off I think I want a little bit of, bit of glow on the actual leaf too as well as the veins
while at the same time trying to keep it looking relatively nice without it glowing you know, in the daytime when it's not glowing so I'm sort of trying to go for some kind of stone slate look Oops. Just kind of highlighting around the veins now, just to give a little bit of extra glow. Right, so we'll let that dry and we'll just finish the skull off now and we'll see how that turns out too. Once we've finished the paint jobs, we'll have a look to see what they look like in the dark. Right, so there we are, uh, all finished. Um, I tried to film the uh, glow-in-the-dark paint with this camera, but uh, the settings don't seem to pick it up very well, so I took some photos instead. So while I'm gibbering on here, uh, the photo should be flashing up on the screen as we speak. So anyway, in real life they look, they're pretty bright. Um, obviously the um, glow-in-the-dark pigment needs to be charged up by the light. Um, daylight's preferable. Seems to give them a good solid charge. Um, and they last for a little bit. And uh, yeah, so uh, that's good fun for us adult kids. And uh, not much more to say. Um, obviously you can use this for any kind of application that tickles your fancy. Um, I'd probably suggest if you're going to use these paints to seal it with some kind of uh, lacquer after you've um, painted the paints, especially if you're painting with water-based materials like the PVA glue. Um, anyway, so that's the, my first attempt at these fluorescent glow-in-the-dark pigment paints. Um, and uh, that's about it. So thank you very much, and over and out for now.